Resign yourself, Catherine. Shops must be visited. Money must be spent. I love you. Insufferable. Shouldn't we come upon them again if we did that? Oh, never mind that. Come, make haste. Yes, Catherine. You simply must hear this. Come, quickly. Excuse me. Ciao. Can I shoot her? Not in public. Yes, I saw him large as life turning up the Lansdowne Road with a smart looking girl by his side. Perhaps they mean to call later. No, they don't. I want to shoot him with the crossbow. I want to stab him in the eye. I want to liberate his head from his neck and then pump the bloody wreck sky high. Kiss the girl. 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 First time. Is it really very horrid? You can't even imagine. But I wouldn't tell you for the world. Well, perhaps one incident to whet your appetite. We're all bored, we're all so tired of everything We wait for trains that just aren't coming We show off our different scarlet letters Trust me, mine is better Can such things really happen? What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? See your mother's room. Slow down, crazy. Slow down. Translation? Desperate. Desperate. Look at your life. Look at your choices. I do love him. Now I should have seen him again and it was all my own fault. Father insists on your leaving immediately. As soon as you can make yourself ready. The carriage will take you to meet the public stage coach. No servant will accompany you. You're the jerk, jerk, jerk of the week. You're a jerk and it's your week. You really outdid yourself. Like a crazy super jerk. You're probably a big jerk every week. But this week, you're the jerk of the week. And are we engaged? What you just said 
is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Guilty of not being as rich as you were supposed to be. For that, he turned you out of the house. I thought you were so angry with me, you told him what you knew, which would have justified any discourtesy. No. I recognize the council has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid-ass decision, I've elected to ignore it.